how about goodness? You know, Jesus said, I am meek and lowly in heart. And his goodness was a manifestation. It says in Acts 10, 38, when the Holy Spirit filled Christ, it says he went about doing good. Good is God-like behavior. Am I visibly a person that's better to those who feel my life up close? Do people see me doing good? Remember, let your good works be seen by others that they might praise God. It's not just the Boy Scouts that are supposed to do that to get a merit badge. All of us are supposed to yield our lives so that goodness increases. Do people think of the presence of God when they see how I act or the absence of God? Um, how about faithfulness? Faithfulness is me, or Psalm 15, doing what I say I'm supposed to do. Am I making strides in reliability and dependability? Christians are supposed to be more reliable, more dependable every year of their life. Is my life less and less out of control? Did you know God wants my life under control so that I can help people whose lives are out of control? And, and we have so many people in the church whose lives are out of control, they can never help anybody else because their lives are out of control. And the fruit of the Spirit, see, anything that's not under control is because I haven't surrendered it to God's control. Am I faithful in my punctuality? You know, there's some people you know that if you say it's at 9 o'clock, they'll get there at 9, 10, you know? How about in your finances? I mean, we're always supposed to spend less than we make, so all you do is just decrease the spending. Boy, they don't teach that anymore. Our government and our culture is driven on, on borrowing enough money to get totally out of debt. You know, it's just like, we, we don't even think about what we're saying. How about my promises? Do I do what I say? Do I swear to my own hurt, Psalm 15? How about my spiritual disciplines like prayer and the word? Do I always say I don't have time? I do have time. But I'm not yielding my time to God's faithfulness. And any part of my life that's out of control is reminding me that that area is not under God's control.